and you're listening to Frey. Starting right now. Here's your host, Alfredo Leon. Back Ella and big news going out of NASCAR as Matt Kenseth is returning to the NASCAR Cup Series to drive Roush Fenway Racing's number six car in some races this season, as multiple sources told SB Nation. Kenseth will share the number six Ford for the remainder of the season with Trevor Bain, who has driven the car on a full-time basis since 2015, but will now move to part-time status, which rounds out the races that Kenseth does not compete in. Roush Fenway will announce the news in a press conference scheduled for today at the NASCAR Hall of Fame in Charlotte, North Carolina. Kansas' first race back with Roush Fenway is expected to be May 12th at Kansas Speedway. Kansas began his Cup Series career with Roush Fenway as he drove full-time for the organization from 2000 to 2012 before leaving to join Joe Gibbs Racing in 2013. Kansas drove for JGR throughout the end of the 2017 with the team choosing to replace him with Eric Jones, a move that had nothing to do with performance, but Jones' youth and ability to attract sponsorship. Unable to secure a ride with a team that the same caliber as JGR, Kenseth then chose to step away from racing, but emphasized he was not retiring and would return if the right situation arose. Kenseth won the 2003 Cup Series Championship and two Daytona 500s, which were in 2009 and 2012 as well, during his 13-year stint with Roush Fenway. Kenseth is a 39-time race winner in NASCAR's premier division, with 15 of those coming with JGR. Kenseth said the whole time that he did want to retire, but people were speculating that this could have been the end, especially after how he said but before the end of the season last year that he may either be gone for a couple months or a couple years, or he may never come back. But he came back, and that's good for Roush Fenway because... He had a lot of success with that team. Who can he can't forget? Never forget his. He'll never forget his first win that he had there in the 2000 Coca-Cola 600. Pretty great race to be able to win your first race, especially how much of a race that is grueling and everything like that, and how incredible it is to be able to at the end of the day win that race. It's one of the most prestigious races out there. And Kenseth was able to win it as a rookie with not a lot of experience. And he won Rookie of the Year that year as well, beating out Dale Earnhardt Jr., who also retired now, but he's officially retired. So, and But what a move by Kenseth, though. Good move, as he's had a lot of success with Roush Fenway, like I said, besides that Coca-Cola 600 win. Obviously, the 2003 Cup Championship, back when it was known as the Winston Cup Series, and he's had a lot of success with the driving the 17 car for Roush Fenway Wasting over the years, having sponsorships, mostly been from DeWalt and other sponsors as well, including Best Buy and Zest and AT&T have sponsored his car as well, including also Carhartt and Smirnoff Ice, other sponsors that he's had over the years. And he's had a lot of success. And it's still a shame, though, that he didn't get a full-time ride this year. It's just a travesty, like I said before, when he won that last race with JGR. He's just a talented driver. He can still drive. I still don't understand why he doesn't have a full-time ride, but at least he has a ride. And... Who knows how long he's going to keep doing this. And if he keeps running part-time, who knows if he'll get back to victory late. But he's still a talented driver. He hasn't driven in a while, so he's going to probably show some rust in his first race at Kansas. But after that, maybe he'll have a shot at winning a race. Who knows? But the competition is stiff. So, But him being back at Rouse, that's pretty cool. Especially with all the success he's had there. Being mentored by Mark Martin when he first started at Roush. And all the success that he had learning from Martin and be able to win and everything. Even though Mark Martin never won a championship, because it was a great guy to mentor and he had a lot of success at Rouse the first time. But he won't be driving the 17 car as that's driven by Ricky Stenhouse. So, but Kenseth, at least he's back with the organization. It would have been nice though if Rouse would have offered him a full-time ride, maybe expanded it to a three-car team again and be able to have a ride for Kenseth. But this is the best he could do for now. Maybe Kenseth was off of that, but he didn't want to race full-time. He just wanted to still spend some time with his family. But maybe he will be full-time again. Who knows? But as of right now, he'll be part-time. And doesn't that say something about Trevor Bain, huh? He won the Daytona 500 in 2011. It is the first start, I think, of that race. And second or third start. As a 20-year-old. And that goes to show you how much he's lost it with Roush. And the fact that he's not even racing full-time now. That shows you how much little they have faith in Trevor Bain. And how much faith they have in Matt Kenseth again. Especially, you know, Kenseth's a legend. He's a future Hall of Famer, that's for sure. And the fact that he's taking some time away from Bain, it goes to show you how much he likes to race. And 
he enjoys being back at Rouse. So, but will the sponsors be different though for Kenseth when he drives? Since the Walt is sticking to Joe Gibbs Racing, will he be sponsored by the Walt again? That's been a sponsor for most of his career, including the last couple with JGR. So, but I think this is a great decision from kids. A great decision for him to do this, especially with all the success he's had driving the 17 car back when it was Roush Racing and then Roush Fenway Racing, and back when he was driving the Ford Taurus and then the, the Fusion. And this is a good move for Kenseth, especially as a great driver, and he deserves to have a ride, and cool, and a good move out of them to give him a chance to possibly win some more races. He's got 39 wins. Can he win more? Maybe, but depends how much time he has in the seat. If, he, if they see how good Kenseth is, don't be surprised if they give him the ride for the rest of the season. That would be cool, especially, because... He, he deserves it if he does well and see if he can check off the rust. As he haven't driven since Homestead back in November. So can Kenseth do it? Can he win a race? We'll see. Put himself in a position to be in the playoffs. That would be something, huh? Be able to do that, take a, the ride away. If he if he wins, then he'll be in the chase. And can he be able to take over the ride after that? Because then he would have a shot at the championship. But I don't know if it would be the case, though. Because he's running part-time, so he's not going to go compete for a championships. But he could still have a chance to win a race. If he presents himself in the right situation, has the right car over the weekend, the team makes the right adjustments on pit road, be able to have a good enough car, have enough speed. So this is a good move for Kenza to be able to be back at Rouse. He, he probably never wanted to leave, but, you know, the situations happen sometimes where sometimes when drivers are already player or athletes, says with a team for a long time, and eventually they have to leave for another situation that's better. It's just sometimes things have to end, and that happened with Kenseth after he won. And that one win, it was in 2012, I think it was at Kansas, his last win with the oh, Talladega. That one win with uh, Kenseth there was very emotional because he had been with the team so long they gave him his chance in the Cup Series. And the fact that he ended up ending his time there, it was very devastating for Kenseth. He was emotional when he won in victory lane too. And that was the last time he that year he won with Roush. I think he won at Kansas, but that was his last year with the team, and it was emotional, especially when he said he was going to part ways. And now that he's back, that's a good sign to show how much he's had success with Roush and the fact that Jack Roush, the owner, has trusted him and see the success he's had driving that 17 car. You know, now he won't be in that ride anymore. He'll still be back at Roush, which is all that matters for Kenzo, I think. But this is a really good move, and congratulations to Kenzo on doing this. And a well-deserved as he needed a ride. And he got it, so let's see how much he could do with it and see if he could take advantage of this opportunity. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like. If you are brand new, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.